What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craftmaster Productions at Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials and pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. Don't forget to uh, also remember that uh, members are now entitled to um, pick up a free MIDI pack with the without warning drum stems all MIDI out. And don't forget to stop by and pick up the super slimy MIDI drums as well. Now, today we're going to be um, chasing that gummo vibe with Ableton Live and um, I went ahead and I got, I got the drums already already pre-programmed uh, the kick pattern is a really simple um, uh, just just it's a one bar repeating loop so you know nothing too crazy here we'll go ahead and listen to it snare is just a is a simple clap you know on the three beat we're moving at 157 beats per minute so it's in double time and then uh the hi-hats on this track are pretty cool we got um something that you typically don't see a lot where you, you don't have a high you don't have a hi-hat dropping on the one beat which gives this um which gives this um track a pretty unique rhythm So you know, right there you have you have the main um, you know the main the main vibe of the track. Um, so for instruments, uh, it's it's pretty much a pad, a lead, um, a saw brass, and um, and a simple and a simple bass line. So um, for the pad, I went ahead and used the Omnisphere preset. This is the uh, PBG PBG Chroma Pulse, um, and we're just gonna go ahead and compose something in D minor. Yep. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw that D minor chord in. guy back here and we're just gonna raise this this note right here this will give us a pretty a pretty tense vibe which is um what you hear in a lot of the instrument or in a lot of the composition in this track is a lot of tension so you get that dun, dun, which is pretty much the main rhythm that is going on throughout this whole track gonna adjust the cutoff on that one now to build the lead I'm going to copy this MIDI information over to where I have the lead VST um, this is this preset is coming from Electra X It's called the inside um, I don't know you know the exact preset that was used in the song it really doesn't matter but the way that the lead is kind of based out is we're gonna take the we're gonna take the first the first note of the chord progression and then this middle note here and we'll start we'll start rocking back and forth and customizing it here 
And then I like to um, kind of fuck with the presets a little bit. sound that brass sound that's going through there that's you could pretty much just use any um you know any any type of 80s brass you're looking for like in your presets um no matter what no matter which synth you have you're looking for like a uh 80s brass vintage brass rolling brass synth brass something like that um something's gonna get you this type of sound and what we did was let's see that d is d is our root note of the first chord and that's going to be the the note that we land home on at the end of the melody right and then we're going to use our third so d f f <sighs> and if you uh, if you're not familiar with music if you're not familiar with music theory, you go to studio1tutorials.com and take our music theory course. It'll get you familiar with all of the vernacular, man. So wind up with a melody like this. And when we, when we double this loop, we just take to get to make it not so repetitive. We'll go up to the next note in the scale which is G. And then just to kind of kind of toughen this up cuz there's a lot of there's a lot of frequencies in this patch. I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of some of the lows. And then put a slight filter on the highs. And the base for this track is super simple. Um, let me see here. Grab this. It's just it's just the root note of the track and then when the bass turns around we go down to the seventh which is a which is a really simple trick for turning your bass around and it always works like if you're just if you're playing a repetitive bass line uh, where you're just using the root note over and over again if you want to turn it around at the end of a bar or the end of four bars just go ahead and drop and drop your um you like you could figure out your rhythm and then drop the last note down to a seventh and it'll always turn around well And again here I'm just going to go I'm gonna go into the plugin and uh, you know I'm not gonna use the filter in the plugin I'm gonna put my own EQ because I like that filter I just want to take some of the top off yeah
yeah man and that's that's pretty much it pretty pretty simple to get the vibe and the rest of it is just is just all arranging you know what i mean taking a couple elements out throwing them back in um that's typically you know gonna be done it's, especially with a track like this an artist like this um it's a lot easier to do it when you're actually working with the artist but if you don't get the opportunity you know just split it up into um into 16s and 8s um, pick a sound that is going to anchor around your chorus and just omit it during the 16 bar parts and um when you're um and then during and then bring it back for the eight bar hooks but uh yeah pretty pr the thing you're going to want to remember if you want to get if you want to get into this vibe um and kind of make it your own is just um stay away from doing a straight 16 hi-hat you know what i mean you're going to want to uh, really play with with empty space and um, and how to create how to create a bounce not by adding rolls but by but by omitting hi hats in the groove um, you know your bass line isn't gonna follow every single kick the bass and the kick are gonna work together um, to to create a rhythm and uh, you know look for look for sounds in your plugins that are like either retro 80s um you know i'm saying vintage words like that and you will easily get into a vibe like this um and it's you know that's pretty much it man so this is cmp with craftmaster production studio one tutorials.com don't forget to stop by and pick up your membership it's 50 cents a day keep it simple don't be basic and we'll see you on the next one